Hey everyone, it's Justine and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a mirror image stamp so you can stamp two of your critters that are facing each other with using just one stamp. Using the Misty tool, what you're going to do is you're just going to open up the Misty tool. You're going to leave that black foam in there if you're using a clear stamp or you're going to remove it if you're using a cling stamp. I'm going to be using a cling stamp today and I'm going to use this adorable dinosaur from So Suzy Stamps. Now what I'm going to do in order to get a mirror image, so what a mirror image is, is an exact re reflection, whether it's a horizontal reflection or a vertical one. I'm going to put it down on top of my mirror image stamp and pick it up using my Misty. I'm going to ink up my dinosaur using some black ink. You can use any color ink you'd wish, like, and then you're going to push it down onto the mirror image stamp. You're going to repeat stamping this over and over again until you make sure that the image is solid. Generally, two or three times will do. If you're using a solid image, you may have to do this more often. It's up to you how many times you want to do this, just as long as it turns out okay. I just like to be on the safe side and do it three times. Be sure not to push too hard onto your image or you'll get some little wonky lines I found. Other than that, you really can't go wrong with stamping this. Next up, I'm going to take my cardstock in which I want my opposite image stamped on and I'm just going to lightly rub my hands over top to get the impression. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, place a piece of computer paper over top and you'll protect your hands. Now you can see my stamp is perfectly stamped onto my cardstock and all I need to do now is stamp the uh, stamp again but just regularly instead of stamping it onto the mirror image. So I'm just going to line it up so they're both facing each other. Push down. I'm going to ink up my stamp you can see my stamp was dirty before, that's why I have an impression already on my paper. Rub my fingers over top, and now you have a mirror image reflection of two stamps using just one stamp. It's a great way to stretch your stamps. Click up at the top to check out my blog and the supply list. Down on the bottom, you can click the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also giving a mini Misty giveaway this week, so be sure to comment on this video and check out my blog for more details. Thanks so much for watching.